It's been a great day so far. Hearts defeating Hibernian to book their place in the Scottish Cup final. Tremendous victory. Amazing goal from Stephen Kingsley. World class save from Craig Gordon. But now it's my turn to keep things going, to keep the momentum swinging our way. And we need to bounce back, guys. Last episode was not good enough. We lost to um, Hibernian in the previous one. Then we lost to Mullerwell, got humped 4 0. Simply. Just piss poor. And our decent start to the season. We won two of the first three games. And now we find ourselves three games later down in 10th place with um, one more draw and uh, two defeats. So, yeah, I mean, it's not looking good. But we can still salvage the season. We don't need to panic just yet. But I feel like we need to start winning games. If we can win a couple of games on the bounce, then I have no doubt that we'll climb up towards the top of the table, which is where we want to be. I mean, there's not that many points separating us and the teams above us. I mean, two wins could literally move us into, you know, top three. It's it's really that close. But we cannot afford to lose here. Our next two games at home, Aberdeen and Dundee, we need to pick up six points. And I'm hoping we can do that. And we're going to try and start against the Sheep, against Aberdeen. They're sitting in fifth place. That's where we should kind of be sitting. So let's go and get there. So we're lining up then against Aberdeen, Clark again in nets, we're sticking with the same back five, Hickey, Kingsley, Halkett, Yosha, Tommy and O'Donnell, Yosha, Tommy needs to step up and put in some good performances, but Benjamin Devlin in the middle of the park and up front we're going with Janelli, Dykes and Mackay, Dykes hasn't really hit the heights, he hasn't really shown the form that I was expecting him to since we made the side in, but I have 100% confidence that he will turn it around, and I think once he starts scoring, I think we'll be banging goals in, and I think we'll be winning games, but uh, we just need that to happen, so Lyndon Dykes, whenever you feel free, whenever you feel ready, don't wait at me, you don't have to get my, uh, you don't have to get my permission, just put the ball in the back of the net, Aberdeen, you can see, they've got their main man in there, Lewis Ferguson, and up front is Emmanuel Thomas and Akinola, who I do not fear. Uh, very slow front two. Big physical front two, but I think our centre-backs will be able to deal with them. Let's find out. Dykes. Dykes. Lays it into Devlin. Devlin gets a bit of space, and he's, oh, he gets the shot away. But in all honesty, there was no point. It was that bad. He would been better off just handing it to the goalkeeper for a goal kick, man. That was shite. Oh, brilliant for Ginelli. Gets round his man. Plays it out to Barry McKay. Chance now, Barry McKay. Still Barry McKay. Step over to Ginelli. Ginelli into Dykes. Dykes has to come back, but he's still got the ball. Lyndon Dykes now, waiting for someone to make a run, help him out. O'Donnell. To Barry McKay. Barry McKay gets tripped there. It could have went down, decided not to. And we got absolutely nothing for it. What a ball that is it to Kennedy, Yosha Tommy tracking back, it's done in there, just just enough to put him off with the pass, Halkett, great challenge for Halkett, now it's O'Donnell, oh and O'Donnell skins his man and it's Stevie O'Donnell now on the attack, what can our right back do, can he find Josh Ginelli, he's looking for him, it's a good ball, it's actually going to get through to Josh Ginelli, he takes a good touch and Josh Ginelli just like that scores, Stevie O'Donnell proving why he's the best right back in the country. Get it right up, he's Aberdeen. It's Hearts 1. Sheep now. The replay again here. Absolutely phenomenal ball there for O'Donnell. So good, I almost in disbelief he played it. <laughs> I mean, I, I could actually believe it was going to Ginelli because it left O'Donnell's foot, but it did. Ginelli, comfortable slotted finish past the goalkeeper, man. And that is it. That is Hearts 1. Yoshi Tommy done absolutely nothing in the game, but he's going to come up and celebrate with the lads anyway. It's 1-0. Another great ball to Ginelli, this time for Benjamin. Dykes is coming in, it's back post to Barry Mackay, he's there, he tries to head it. It's away, Devlin's there, it's Barry Mackay on the volley, and it's not a great attempt, but it's headed away anyway by Aberdeen. Gallagher finally clears the danger. Corner for Aberdeen just before the break, can they equalise? Hopefully not, we need to get rid of this. It's a jumping volley, it's straight into the hands of Sander Clark, it's comfortable enough. And we get into half time, guys, with a 1 0 lead. Exactly what we would have wanted. We've got a goal. Right at the moment, we're keeping a clean sheet. It's all going how we planned. We've been the better team. We are in control of the game. And if we keep playing like this, then we should win. 
funnily enough, that shot for Aberdeen there was the first shot they've had. So, I mean, we've been in control. We've contained Aberdeen. They haven't really offered anything going forward. And if we keep playing like this, then it'll be a 1-0 win at least. And we can take three points after them. Oh, Dykes. Oh, Dykes, where's he going with that one? And that's into the hands of Borjan. Oh, Ginelli intercepts it. Josh Ginelli, lovely. Into the path of Kami Devlin, strikes at Borjan. We a dive in one hand at save, keeping his team in this. It's Mackay with the corner. Dykes is in there. He can't get to it, though. It's going to fall for Yosha Tommy, who heads it out to Ginelli. It's back out to Barry Mackay, and Barry Mackay should have did better there. Should have kept that one in, but slightly overhit pass, I think, for Ginelli. Kennedy against O'Donnell, and O'Donnell comes out on top. Fantastic for Stevie O'Donnell. What a game he's having today. Now it's Barry Mackay, O'Donnell keeping the run up. It's O'Donnell, he's through. Stevie O'Donnell, can he go on his own? Can Stevie O'Donnell score? He's going to try. And he hits the side net, and maybe he should have looked for Ginelli there. I think he got a bit excited. I think we tried to get Stevie O'Donnell on the score sheet. It's a poor choice there. Um, close enough, but I mean, not good enough. Come on, Ginelli was free in the middle. Should have found him. Great challenge again there for Kingsley and Hearts can go on the attack again. Aaron Hickey trying to find Mackay. Poor Paul. Brilliant there. Yoshi Tommy with interception. Yoshi Tommy to Cammy Devlin. Devlin looking for Ginelli. Finds Ginelli. Brilliant there for Cammy Devlin. Devlin now picks it up. You are no. I was praising him like 10 seconds ago and saying brilliant. That certainly was not brilliant. And that's sickening, just like that. I mean, that is our second shot of the game. They've done absolutely nothing all match. We lose our clean sheet. I mean, it's not the greatest defending for me, but I didn't think Akinola was going to score for there. He takes a shot for distance. He beats Sander Clark. I mean, yeah, the defender is shocking. I've, I've no excuses. Defending is pretty poor there. And unfortunately, the ball finds its way into the back of the net. Kind of needed Sander Clark to bail me out there. And he couldn't pull off the wonder saves that we normally see for Craig Gordon. So, ah, to, to be back on level terms, you're absolutely sickening. Let's try and push for a winner with 21 minutes remaining. Oh my fucking God, what was that? Oh, fuck off. And Upper didn't respond just like that. Couldn't defend. Couple of part and it's Akinola again. The guy I said I didn't fear at the start of the match. Well, he's he's making me my words here, man. For fuck's sake! Now we're trailing by two goals to one. Here we go, making substitutions. We're bringing on Walker. We're bringing on Dunbar. We're bringing on Cardero, and uh, we're going to go for this here. With 13 minutes remaining, we found Dykes. Dykes looking for Dunbar. Dykes is still holding on to it. Lyndon Dykes waiting for a bit of support. It's an overhit pass. It'll be kept in by Devlin. Devlin, oh, and he loses it, man. You can't lose it there. 89th minute. We need to get this ball. Ryan Hedges will clear. Aberdeen now looking to come out. Oh, it's Akinola again. That looks offside again, in my opinion. It's whipped in. It's not been given. I don't, be I don't fucking believe it, man. We're going to lose 3-1 in a game that... An Akinola hat-trick, man, Really? Really? Ah, that's hard to take, man. That is absolutely, that's a bummer. That's a fucking bummer, man. We were winning this. Aberdeen were doing absolutely nothing in that first half. We were in complete control. And we've thrown it away, guys. We've absolutely thrown this away. Aberdeen have defeated us at Tynecastle by three goals to one. I can all of all people's clicked in a match ball. Three, three attempts, I mean, three shots, three goals, really. More bullshit as per usual. Uh, we should not have lost that game. Aberdeen in total had four shots. They scored three of them. It's just, it's... We need to do better, but at the same time, we, we did enough to win that game. We completely did enough to win that. And uh, we didn't win it, so... What can you do? I mean, those draws are good results for us, but it's not good because we've lost. So, I mean, there's no good other teams slipping up if we can't take advantage. And it remains that we stay 10th then in the table after seven games played. And that is now four games for a win, guys. And that's the kind of form that will see you cement it to the bottom six. We have to turn it around. We have to keep going. We've got Dundee up next. I actually have a good record over Dundee in this series. So I'm hoping we can keep that going. And, uh, yeah, this next game is, I think, already. We, next up, we've got two games against the Dundee teams. And I think they're both must win. Like, I genuinely believe they're both must win. 
Right, here we go then. Match against Dundee, making a few changes. Lorenz coming in for Yoshitomi, and Cammy Devlin's not fully fit, so we're going to play Cardero instead of him. That's the only two changes we're making. Dundee, dangerous going forward, pretty you know decent attacking trio, but hopefully we have too much for them today. Bikes holds it up. O'Donnell, O'Donnell looking for Cardero. Cardero trying to flick it onto Dykes, almost, but not enough. Ball look to Hickey, Aaron Hickey then, trying to find Lyndon Dykes, he does! Lyndon Dykes though, right at the goalie. What a chance to take the lead, and unfortunately the strike for Dykes wasn't good enough, it's it to Benenjami from distance. Oh, Jesus Christ, how's Lawler made that? Lawler, double hand it saved, throws it though straight to Ginelli. And Ginelli strikes it in Dundee block, and Dundee hanging on here. Cordero now charging forward. Dykes is there. Can we find him? It's out to Ginelli. Ginelli now cutting inside. Ginelli. Oh, Ginelli though gets a second chance here. Lucky there. Benenjami. Out to Barry Mackay. Barry Mackay step overs and gets caught out by Robertson. Dykes finds Ginelli. Ginelli's got the pace. Bursts away from Sweeney. It's Ginelli trying to force it in and it's a save again for Lawler. Ginelli can't believe it. Corner then coming in from Barry Mackay. O'Donnell's there. He jumps. It's going to fall for Kingsley. His shot is blocked. It's back out again to Barry Mackay. Mackay going for the back post. Oh, big Lorenz was there, but Lawler collects it with both hands. Cummins against Lorenz. Lorenz does enough. Lorenz gets back. Brilliant there for the big German. Giving Cummins no chance. We need to defend the corner, though. McGowan getting ready to whip it in. Ginelli will control it on the chest. And Ginelli here might actually have space, a chance to burst into attack. And Barry McKay can't stay on side. Cordero. Cordero. Look at the space that he's opened up here. Oh my god, Cordero. We need something. That could be a goal that kickstarts the season. That could be a goal that kicks us up the arse. Cordero. <laughs> Pretty much a solo run. Into the edge of the Dundee box, took a strike. There was so much space available. We thought, let's go for it. And big Alex Cadero there with his left foot in after the post. Keeper, no chance. And we take the lead just before half time. Fantastic stuff. Again, it's half time. It's another game that we're in control of, but we were in control of the last game. So it's important that we don't fuck up again. We cannot lie on this 1 0 result. We need to make sure that we keep playing the way we're playing, that we don't let Dundee into this, and that we win. Right, the clean sheet's there for the taking. I mean, we, we were dominant against Aberdeen. I'm fucking so fr frustrated, man, that I ended up losing that game three goals to one. I don't know how it happened, but I'm not going to lose this one, guys. We're going to make sure that we hold on here. Not just hold on. I want to extend the lead in the second half, so let's go and do it. Cordero, out to Ginelli. In towards Lyndon Dykes. Dykes. Dykes! Oh, just wide of the post there. I thought it was in. Lola looked beat. He was rooted to the spot. He didn't even move. He's standing there like he's seen a ghost. The ghost of Lyndon Dykes. But unfortunately, Dykes put it past the post. Dykes. Cadero still making a run. It's Lyndon Dykes. Oh, Dykes gets past his man. Lyndon Dykes shoots and forces another save. Half Lawler. Lawler raging with his Dundee teammates. He wants them, I guess, to defend better. Close down London Dykes more. London Dykes trying to close down on his third goal for Hartsell. Lawler denying him at the moment. The corner about to get whipped in from Barry Mackay. Good delivery into the six yard box here the way. Mackay will be first to it. Barry Mackay launches one in. O'Donnell's there. He heads it into Dykes. What a goal that is. O'Donnell to Dykes. Dykes to the back of the net. Pick it out, Lawler. You may have been good, but you're not that good. It's Hearts 2. Dundee nil, and we are in complete control of this game. What a goal that is. The cross for Barry Mackay. Head it down to O'Donnell. Straight into the path of Stephen O'Donnell. Uh, straight into the path of Lyndon Dykes, should I say. And his low-driven folly. And off the grass. And off the ground. Right into the corner. And he's away celebrating before it's even crossed the line. Because he knows Lawler ain't saving that. And he's not even going to try. It's Hearts 2. It's Dundee nil. Ginelli, Ginelli gets through, Ginelli's passed, Ginelli now looking for Lyndon Dykes, Dykes trying to get the head on it, it's through to Aaron Hickey, and Hickey doesn't pull the trigger and the chance is gone. 
Spikes. Barry McKay, look at the Dundee defence that's been ripped open here. McKay, oh no, that's a terrible ball. But Ginelli back to Barry McKay. We've made the most of it there. The Barry McKay, Josh Ginelli dual show. Um, I don't know how that's what end though. The pass originally from McKay to Ginelli was so overhit. But Ginelli did well to get to it. He got it back into Barry McKay. And Barry McKay put it past Lawler to confirm that we will take away all three points from this game against Dundee. Oh no, we wanted the clean sheet, we're not going to get it. Absolutely raging, man. I wanted the clean sheet there, we deserved the clean sheet. Dundee's done nothing, but Bourne has pulled one back for them in the last minute of the game. Again, maybe we just switched off defensively. I thought we were unlucky there, actually won the ball with Kingsley, and then it, it looked like it was going out for a corner, so I stopped chasing it. He managed to keep it in, played it to Bourne, and Bourne put it in the back of the net. But we won't drop points here, we are going to win the game. It's going to be three goals to one. For us, it's going to be a comfortable win in the end. Referee spoiled the full time win. So there you go, guys. We've done it. We picked up three points. We got a third win of the season. We needed it after a bad run of form there. Four games without a win. But we picked up a good win there. Should have been 3-0. We'll take the 3-1. There was a great goal in there as well. Everything going good at the moment. Um, Aberdeen won against Dundee United. Celtic drew again, which is good if we want to try and catch them. We'll have a quick look at the league table here. But uh, nah man, things are looking no bad there. The Sunday game has now been played. We have moved up one position into ninth place. It looks like it's fairly close though. I mean, yeah, we're in ninth. The only the only issue for me is we're kind of there's quite a big gap here between ourselves and fourth place Celtic. But there's only one point between ourselves and fifth place Dundee United, and that's who we play next. So we could go defeat Dundee United next. And then be in fifth place, like it's not ideal. We don't want to be so far behind the the, uh, the chasing pack, the leading pack. But let's just look at the bright side here. Beat Dundee United, potentially move into fifth, and then we've got a chance to take points off the old firm because we've got a triple header against the old firm. So that should be fun. But uh, this Dundee United game is crucial. We need to win this, especially ahead of that triple header game. So yeah, let's just get straight into this. Hopefully we can win. Again, the goal difference again from us isn't good enough. We can see the 18 goals already. We need to start getting some clean sheets, guys. All right, here we go then. The match against Dundee United. Only one change being made. Cammy Devlin is coming back in. And we're switching Cordero with Ben Benjamin. So, yeah, we're going to give Cordero and Devlin the middle of the park. See what they can do after Cordero scored that screamer in the last game. Dundee United are lined up with Segris, Spohl, Manning, Edwards, Nielsen, Niscan and Harks, Taylor... Chalmers, Apier and Langer. Not the strongest Dundee United side, but we're going to treat them with respect. The last thing we want to do here, guys, is lose. We need to win this, so we'll treat them as if they're world-class opposition and hopefully pick up the win. Ginelli, Ginelli. Oh, he's holding it up. He's waiting for Hickey. Hickey's coming through, charging like a fucking train. He's came back, though. He's played it to Ginelli. Took all the momentum out of that. Aaron Hickey. Oh, Aaron Hickey turns. Harks, it's still Aaron Hickey, Hickey, oh, forces to save a Segrist, what a goal that would have been, oh, not brilliant for Kingsley, fantastic, Stephen Kingsley gets it off on that, and then Cammy Devlin drives out of his own box with the ball, still Cammy Devlin, still Cammy Devlin going, no one can get the ball off him, no one can even challenge him here, it's Cammy Devlin, the Cammy Devlin show, plays it to Barry McKay, Barry McKay, Back in towards Cammy Devlin, he lays off to Cardero, Cardero flicks it to Josh Ginelli, he follows it, the keeper's made an arse it, and it's a goal, it was a great bit of build up play, but I don't think that strike should be going in, Ginelli heads the corner flag, I don't know why, showing some passive aggressiveness there man, but we'll take it, look at that, that lovely flick for Cardero, and the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker there, I know it's raining, but, I mean come on, I mean you can't use that as an excuse. Just went right through his gloves and after the post, and we have a lead. Bikes through to Barry Mackay. Oh, and that's another shocker. As I mean, it's a great technique, great finish there for Mackay, but I think Segrist will have to look at himself. Although, if he looks himself in the mirror, the mirror might break, because it's been an ugly performance so far from the, uh, the Dundee United goalkeeper. He's having an absolute shocker here, but we will take advantage of this all day long. Uh, good pass for Dykes to split open the defence and Barry McKay drills that but I mean if we see it again maybe from behind the goal angle or well, this angle might tell us a lot I mean surely Segrist oh Segrist there he's having a shocker <laughs> he's not having a good game it's Hearts 2 Dundee United now 
Dykes out again to attempt to Stevie O'Donnell. O'Donnell! Oh no! Cleared by Manning after the line. O'Donnell thought he was getting a goal, but it wasn't to be. Good interception for Cammy Devlin now. Another a chance here for Hearts. Devlin trying to get past his man. He's been fouled there on the edge of the box, but referee says that the ball was won. Oh man, that's that's not good enough. In control of the game, we give Dundee United one chance and the scanning takes that chance. It's a great finish. Unlike Seagrist, I don't think Craig Gordon had a chance to save that. I don't think there's a lot Craig Gordon could have done about that. Uh, we have to do better here. We've, we've just let this cannon come inside there and get a shot. It's poor defending for Craig Halkett. This cannon has put it in top bends, curled it in with his left foot. And uh, yeah, Sander Clark, outstretched arm, diving, trying to make the save, but couldn't do it. And it's done the back in the game. Great challenge, though, from Cammy Devlin. Or from uh, Cardero, even. By the McKay, it's an off save for Seagrist. A pass back with the header and Dundee United will get into the break at two goals to one. And uh, yeah, still all to play for here at Tanadice. But so far so good from our perspective. That's not what we wanted to see though. Hibs winning two goals to nil. Uh, they will be ready to increase their lead at the top of the table, which is pretty damn shit. Uh, we've been in control again. I would have preferred to go into the break 2-0. But we let Niskanen have a chance. He can't do that. Niskanen, quality player. He finished it. And now it's up to us to finish the job and make sure we don't concede again in the second half and see what this win. Oh, no, it's Langer. And that is... That, that, well, I mean, come on. What the fuck? I said, let's not, let's not throw the second half away here. Let's not concede and we concede straight away to this guy. I've no idea who he is, but he's just torn apart the entire Hearts team there. And the Dundee United fans celebrate. And we'll see again here. Look at this. I mean, look at that. I mean, come on. Stephen Kingsley there getting out pace, getting out muscled. Sander Clark runs out, gets doinked over the seed. Uh, that is that is awful. Awful from us. 2-0 up and we're thrown away. A, a, a winning position. And now we're drawing. It's, it's unreal. Cordero. Oh, no. Dykes has fallen down, but he's back on his feet. Cordero out to Barry McKay. Oh, and Barry McKay goes down, come on! It could have been a penalty there, but the ref wasn't interested. Halkett comes out, wins it. Now Halkett charging into the Dundee United half. It's Craig Halkett! Oh, what a save for Seagrass, Craig Halkett almost blasting that in for about 28 yards. What a goal it would have been. Corner though to come. Barry McKay looking for O'Donnell. O'Donnell jumped, O'Donnell didn't get to it, and Dundee United clear it. Barry McKay lays it off to O'Donnell. O'Donnell into Dykes! Dykes with a shot from a tight angle and Seagrass holds on to it. He's actually performed no bad since conceding those two sloppy goals at the start of the game. Still Dundee United 2, Hearts 2. Ball flicked over to Barry McKay. Barry McKay to Cammy Devlin. Devlin. Cammy Devlin gets through. Cammy Devlin gets a better Manning. It's another shot. It's another save for Seagrass. And this time he dropped it but still managed to hold on to it. Seagrass holding on to the ball for his life. I don't think he can afford another mistake here, or the Dundee United fans will never forgive him, but it's still 2-2. And oh, fuck off. Fuck right off. I think it's Langer again. And Dundee United, for a 2-0 losing position, for a 2-0 deficit, are now find themselves free to up here. And we only have ourselves to blame. We, we, should, be, we should be way ahead. We should have buried this game. We haven't. And we've let Dundee United right back in, so... The next 24 minutes is absolutely massive for us. We need to bounce back here. I think Sander Clark has to take a bit of blame there. Should be saving that. An outstretched arm probably gets something on it. Ball out to Barry McKay. Barry McKay will keep it in. Barry McKay skins his man. It's Lorenz. Cardero. Still Cardero. Cardero. Opening up a bit of space. Takes a shot. McKay. Lorenz. Not the guy we want to take the shot with. Dykes. Dykes turns, shoots, blocked. Lorenz chests it down. Still hearts on the attack. Barry McKay lays it off to O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Stevie O'Donnell, brilliant. Oh, no, a shot. Penalty, perhaps? No. But here we go, Cardero now. Still hearts with the ball. 
Lays it off to Stephen Kingsley. Kingsley now charging into the box. Stephen Kingsley saved by Seacrest. All over Dundee United at the moment, but cannot find that equaliser. Barry McKay whips one in. It's headed away again. Devlin will drop back. Devlin will pick it up. Cammy Devlin, for distance, strikes at Seacrest again. Oh, oh my God, Dykes there with the rebound. Couldn't get enough on it, and it's kept it. Oh, Cammy Devlin wins it. Cammy Devlin no needs a bit of backup. Devlin, out to Ginelli. It's Josh Ginelli. Ginelli, yes! Come on, we're back in it. Eight minutes to go. Ginelli gets the equaliser. Cordero jumps on his back. But uh, can we jump on the back of this Hearts trade and try and fire in a fourth goal? Come on, let's do this. Let's go. Draw's not good enough. We need the win. O'Donnell. Mackay. Mackay trying to find Dykes. He does. Dykes trying to play it back into the path of Ginelli. It's took a block and Dundee United will look to get rid of this. Oh, Seacrest though. What's he doing? What the fuck is that guy doing today? Here we go then. Lorenz going off. We're bringing on boys. We're bringing on Dunbar. Dykes is getting taken off as well. We're trying chase a goal in the last few minutes we've won the ball it's Kingsley now here we go it's Cardero it's Cardero he's waiting he's waiting he's waiting it's oh it's Dunbar oh Dunbar sides oh Dunbar come on oh we just brought on the young American and if he scores that Jesus Christ he cut inside he had boys he obviously thought boys wasn't a good enough option we don't need VR we can clearly tell that's not over the line but I mean, the, the bigger picture here is Dunbar. Should have scored that. Looks like that's it, guys. I can't see anything else happening. The referee blows the whistle. It's ended. Dundee United at three. Hearts free at Tanner Dice. It's a point. We threw away a two-goal lead, but then we bounced back from a 3-2 deficit to get a point. I don't know how to feel about it. I, I still feel like it's two points dropped, but I am kind of grateful that we got a point. But it is a game that we dominated. It's a game that we should have won. Easily, I mean, look at that. Expected goal ratio was 4.3 for us compared to their 1.4. We had 16 shots to their 5. Uh, we were pretty much just in control the entire game, but we just didn't do enough to get the victory. And it, it sucks, especially after seeing Hibs picking up another win, picking up another 3 points against St. Johnston. But what can we do? At least we didn't lose. And, um, yeah, we, but it's not enough, man. I think we really, realistically, needed to win that, considering how tough these next couple of games are going to be for us. Alright, there we go. Not much has changed in the league after that 3-3 draw against Dundee United, but it was a massive opportunity for us to move all the way up to 5th place, to leapfrog Dundee United, and we could not take it. So after 9 games, we have 3 wins, 2 draws, and 4 losses. I'm not happy. I would say it's below, below par, 100%, but what I would say is it's still salvageable. It's not horrendous. And if you look at that, I mean, we should have beat Aberdeen, should have beat Dundee United. That's at least, what, five points you could have been adding on to our tally. So we, we should be on 16, one point behind Rangers. But if, buts, coulda, hooda, shoulda, we didn't. All right, so that's going to do it then. Next time out, we'll be taking on Rangers at Tyne Castle. And then after that, we have a double header in Glasgow. We'll be travelling to Glasgow and we'll be taking on Celtic at Celtic Park. Then followed by a short trip over the uh, city to ibrox so massive games coming up guys make sure you tune into the next episode leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you haven't share this video i will catch you in the next one but until then peace